these are always, always big, lucrative, important games from a financial point of view, Brian. I'd imagine, given everything that's going on in the world of football, on that front, even more so for these clubs. Yeah, ma massively so, Tommy. I think um, the, the teams from, let's say, outside of the, the, the top uh, five or six countries in Europe with the massive television deals are very dependent on the money that they get from the UEFA competitions as well as the income they get from their own stadiums with crowds at the matches. Um, and in these most awkward of times where there's no income coming from fans going to games and it, it seems to be coming less likely as the days mm. go by that we're going to see s substantial crowds at matches in the future. It, 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 this type of situation is massive that clubs can continue to um, derive massive in income from, from UEFA but I, I just question how long that can go on for UEFA they're obviously di dipping into their big piggy bank at the moment to pay out all the clubs across Europe that have started out in this year's European competitions Europa League, Champions League and all the countries right down to the lowest in the coefficient from you know, San Marino and Dora, right up to Spain and England and Italy and France, Belgium. Uh, but, you know, how long can they sustain that, pouring out massive amounts of money while they're not generating any money themselves except from the commercial income and the TV rights? And um, I can see a lot of the leagues around Europe struggling badly uh, as... As this year goes on, I mean, I think I'm, you know, I'm I'm very worried about our own league here, about the league in, in Northern Ireland, the league here. Obviously, the television deals are are not substantial. The clubs would have considerable outgoings if an average club in the League of Ireland, if it's say its wage bill is a half a million a year, a year, on the ten clubs in the league, you're you're, you're talking about five five million a year. Where is that five million going to come from if there are no crowds going to and the games? And in the absence of the big future? TV deals like there you have in other yes, countries. Yes, exactly. Uh, so, you know, across Europe, that will be magnified because the wages are obviously much higher. And at all levels of the game, that players are getting paid, or they're playing as professionals. Where is the income going to come from to pay them without crowds going to games? And I don't think UEFA or FIFA, I might say, will be able to sustain that for years at the levels they're paying out at the moment. I wonder if